Hello guys, this is Bola, Bola Adeomi, child of God, daughter of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, a kingdom prino and a kingdom coach, author. <laughs> These are my books. Someone, <laughs> someone said they looked under Bola Adeomi. That's my maiden name. My books are actually under Princess Bola Adelani. Okay, so those are my books. <laughs> There's a third one. Um, an ebook, and you pick them up at Amazon.com. Prophetic Shift book. Just look at the colors, right? This is the Master's Mind on Total Success. Um, yeah, <laughs> Amazon.com. I found that rather funny. Um, and then you know, oh, oh my God, amazing, amazing curriculums and um, courses with very sound doctrine at conquerorsacademy.com and you find me any day anytime at royalproclamations.com royalproclamations.com is where you go to find out everything and anything about me and my ministry and the each video is linked you know there are links to the different um, um arms of the ministry okay so yeah i'm back with um i believe this is part seven of the series announcing you know the day of vengeance of our god <sighs> judgment is here judgment is now and it begins in the house of god god is resetting not just the church but the whole world and bringing us back to the heart of worship bringing us back to his original plan and intention so that as it is on earth, so that it is in heaven. He's um, resetting us in, in anticipation of the return of the second coming of Jesus, which is imminent. And we know that he's coming for a glorious church, a church without spot and wrinkle. And so we must expect that he would, you know, put an end to this ch charade that we call church, you know. Um, so that Jesus can come for that glorious church. So anyway, yeah, that's what the whole judgment is now series is about. These are the days of judgment that the things written may be fulfilled. So now, yes, so this is part seven. And I believe in part seven, I, I started from the part six. I started addressing certain indiv individuals, calling them out by name. Um, as directed by the Spirit of God. So the person that God asked me to call out by name and ask to repent, um, or otherwise risk the judgment of God upon himself and his ministry, is someone called Jerry Eze, Pastor Jerry Eze. Uh, my American audience may not know him, not know him, but those in Nigeria and the Nigerians in the diaspora, I think, will are more familiar with him because he's based out of Nigeria. He has a prayer, I, I put prayer in quote, called um, NSSPD, something about what God cannot do does not exist. But anyway, he has this prayer shrines. God called them shrines all over the nation now world he goes and holds them now all over the world so i want to address you personally um my brother ha <sighs> yeah so the law said you should repent you should repent number one of your doctrine of the de of devils um that what god cannot do does exist what he cannot do does exist God cannot or does not answer the prayer of sinners. God does not answer prayers amiss that we pray to heap it on our lost. God does not answer the prayer of the unrighteous. God does not answer the prayers of those not in relationship with him who are in sin, who are out of order, who are in rebellion. God does not answer prayers to, I said it, you know, to, to, of greed, of greed and covetousness. 
you get the drift. I'm sure you catch the drift by now. So what God cannot do does exist. He said you should stop it. He said your prayers are actually demonic. That you are opening demonic altars and portals around the world through your prayer movement opening the portals to familiar spirit demonic spirit unclean spirit seducing spirits because your prayers are not according to his will and so they're not going into the third heavens where god is they're going to the second heavens because god told us jesus told us how to pray he said we must not pray like the heathen right you know, with vain repetitions and chants. Oh, ah, 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 fire, Holy Spirit. Ah. He said we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Remember how, how, um, how was his name? Elijah, the prophet, was taunting the prophets of Baal and the Baal worshippers, right? That's how they prayed. That's how heathen pray. And so when we pray like that, we're tapping into all those familiar spirits. We go into all these um, kindaloony kind of things and frenzies. Stop it. God is displeased. He said you should repent. Thirdly, you know, you're praying and you're saying you're coming to the Lord's table. And their, their Holy Communion now are like libation to gods, to idols. It's like idol worship. It is idol worship, not that it's like. And the scriptures tell us that, you know, when we come to the table of the Lord irreverently, you know, that um, many are weak and many are sick and many die. And that um, Hebrew says that, you know, we should not come and mess with the blood of Jesus because there's a sorrow punishment awaiting those who just, you know, belittle and the blood of Jesus. And you see, you might be mistaken for the testimonies you receive as an endorsement of your ministry that actually you are praying to the almighty God who sits in heaven, the heavens of heavens, right? Yeah. But the Holy Spirit said, I should remind you that there's something called lying wonders. Magicians and things like that. They, they, they can, they have testimonies. Muslims will tell you they, they pray and have testimonies that you can't dispute. People in white garment churches who tap into all kinds of marine things, and they have testimonies too. Those who go to witch doctors, they have testimonies, right? So uh, the testimonies are not an evidence of God's presence. Have you heard of the placebo effect? Have you heard of the placebo? Go and do some research about placebo. New ages can manifest things through the power of belief. We can use our imagination to bring things into life by projecting astral travel. That is all that is happening in your meetings. It's displeasing to God. Very much so. So the Lord said you should repent. You should shut it down before he shuts it down. Yes, he said you should shut it down. Come to him in humility. Repent, let him cleanse you, let him purge you, deliver you from all those demonic influences in your theology, you know, from the word of faith, prosperity, preaching that you have been exposed to, because God is not your heron boy, God is not our uh, genie in the success bottle, God is not Father Christmas that we just command and tell to do things and to pray and we bring our laundry list to him no we pray according to his will according to his mind we come in humility you know to seek his face and do it the way he said we should do it in his word and be in relationship with him first and foremost 
<sighs> so he said you should come, repent. Shut it down before he shuts it down. Shut it down before he shuts it down. And then come and learn. Yes, he will purge you, deliver you from all those false doctrines and demonic influences, that voices that you have now exposed yourself and the ministry and the whole world to. And he will start showing you from his word what it really means to be in prayer and how it's a function of a relationship with him. How repentance and all of that is required. And how to approach the table of the Lord. And how to have gatherings that doesn't bring judgment, but brings his blessing. He said, if you don't repent and heed this call to repentance, he will shut it down. And then what Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 30 says about those who irreverently approach the table of the Lord will begin to happen in your ministry. Many will be weak, ill, and sleep. And he said, you'll begin in your house. You'll begin in your house. Repent. Stop it. It's not according to the will of God. And he's displeased about how you have not speaking right of him, misrepresenting him, aligning him, he doesn't take it lightly and how you're just making the blood of Jesus a light thing. <sighs> I pray that you will heed this call to repentance. And for all of you who are his followers, he said that that altar, that shrine is already under his judgment. We will, if you guys don't repent, you keep calling in, thinking God is some somebody you can just give in to, claim it, receive, and just send around and stop all these demonic things that you, portals and things you're opening up, all familiar spirits. If you don't stop this idol worship, it's idolatry, this Jezebelic worship. What starts with Jerry is a, the Lord said will spill down to some of you. Mm -hmm. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Again, my name is Bola, Bola Adeomi, royalproclamations.com. Ciao.